तो स्टूडेंट्स टीसीपीआईपी प्रोटोकॉल स्वीट के अंदर हमने देखा कि द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल लेयरिंग आर वेरी वेल डिप्लॉयड इन अ बाय डायरेक्शनल टीसीपीआईपी प्रोटोकॉल स्वीट बेस्ड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम ईच ऑफ द लेयर्स द फाइव लेयर्स दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एप्लीकेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट नेटवर्क डेटा लिंक एंड फिजिकल दे डिप्लॉय फंक्शंस व्हिच आर ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर इन ईच ऑफ द डायरेक्शंस similarly they have got identical objects on each of the layers at either ends fir humne logical connectivity ka concept kuch study kiya tha students where, where we saw that the all the layers they work as if there is a imaginary connection of the each of the layer at the source end for example with the corresponding layer at the destination end ab students we'll go and have a look at each of the layers and we'll briefly discuss the functions the architecture what the, what each of the layers the five layers in a tcp protocol um, does let's go to the slide so students on the slide you can see the five layers of a tcp ip protocol suite layer 1 all the way to layer 5 we'll start with the application layer students application layer mein humne dekha tha that there is a logical connection an imaginary connection between the application layers at the two ends at the source and the destination students the communication is actually done through all the layers but this imaginary connection exists so that if for example an email is originated from the application layer at the source that email will get a response from the application layer at the destination imaginary logical connection between the two application layers the object in this layer is called as a message this is our object students hypertext transfer protocol http is used on this layer when we access the world wide web when you access the internet when you write uh, an email you use um smtp the simple mail transfer protocol you use ftp when you transfer file from one system to the other so all of these protocols they exist at the application layer and there are the list goes on students moving on to the transport layer the transport layer provides services to the application layer the transport layer as the name indicates is responsible for the end to end transport of the message so application provides data or the message to the transport the transport then converts it into what we call as a segment segment or a user datagram students transport layer is basically responsible for giving services to the application layer what this means is it gets a message from the application program that's running on the source host and it delivers it to the corresponding application program on the destination host students two examples of the transport protocols is the tcp protocol and the udp protocol the transmission control protocol and the user datagram protocol one is connection oriented the other one is connectionless and we'll go into the details in the next lectures students the next layer is the network layer network layer is basically responsible for creating a datagram the object is a datagram students in this case we use layer 3 to perform routing all the way from the source to the destination students an example protocol is the internet protocol or the ip protocol and we'll discuss um this particular layer in the course of computer networks